January 22, 1988, Convention Center, Atlantic City. Young Mike Tyson, loaded with belts but no robes, entered the ring against the former heavyweight champion Larry Holmes. Before the fight commenced, announcer presented Muhammad Ali, who wished good luck to both the fighters. I would like to acknowledge a man here in the ring who was indeed a man of heavyweight history in 1960. He was an Olympic gold medal champion. In 1964, he became the heavyweight champion of the world. In 1974, he again won the heavyweight title. And in 1978, he became the only man in heavyweight history to win three world championships. Ladies and gentlemen, the former three-time heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali! Muhammad Ali! Ali whispered into the ears of the young champ saying, get him for me. A little more than seven years ago, Holmes made Ali quit on his corner after dominating him in every round, making Ali's trainer Angelo Dundee stop the fight. Is Ali hurt? Yes, that one hurt. It was something very grim for Ali's fans to see him losing against Holmes without putting up any fight. He was well, as great as he once was. All I know is. Well, the end of Angelo Dundee wants to stop the fight. It'll be scored as a technical knockout. 14-year-old Mike Tyson watched this fight with his legendary trainer and father figure, Cus D'Amato. At the time, no one would have imagined that this teenager would one day become the heavyweight champion of the world. Ali's aide, Gene Kilroy, put Ali on the phone with Cus the next day of the fight. Cus was furious and sad on Ali's loss. He kept on referring to Holmes as a b Mike told that every time Cus cursed Holmes on the phone with Ali, it was cutting right through him and he started crying. Then, Cus made Ali talk to Tyson by saying, I have a young black kid with me. He's just a boy, but he's going to be the heavyweight champion of the world. His name is Mike Tyson. Talk to him for me, please, Muhammad. I want you to tell him to listen to me. I'm sorry for what happened to you, 14-year-old Mike said to Ali, to which he replied that he was sick and took some medicine which made him weak and that's how Holmes was able to beat him. He went on to say that he will get well and come back and beat Holmes. Young Mike emotionally said, Don't worry, champ. When I get big, I'm going to get him for you. Mike later mentioned in his biography that Cus and him had been talking since he was 14 about beating Larry Holmes, and Cus even gave him a blueprint to beat Holmes. Cus passed away two years before this fight happened. It turned out that Iron Mike was able to get Holmes by the exact same blueprint. This is round four. Let's see if Larry can pick up the offense a bit. Larry up on his toes now. This is the way a young Larry Holmes would have fought Mike Tyson. Now Holmes is gonna maybe going to open up some offense here. The crowd loves to see this. Larry definitely a sentimental favorite. You see that head right in the face of Larry Holmes. Nothing said by Joe Cortez about that. Here's Tyson attacking again. Larry knows exactly how to take away that punching power in tight. Larry has a more confident look on his face now than he had in the first round. Left hook caught him that time, though. Can't get too cute with this guy. You've got to keep moving. All right, break, break up, break up, break up. Larry has all the rig savvy that a lot of the fighters that Mike Tyson has faced have not possessed. Tyson boards him. No damage done here at all. He's got that face right in the chin and the cheek of Larry Holmes again. Right hand behind the jab was so precise and vicious that Larry went down on his back. 
He got up shaking his head, but Iron Mike was a master finisher and jumped on him. Could not continue that round after round. Oh, a big right hand, and down goes the former champion. He was there right in the button. The count is up to six, seven, and eight. Now he is hurt. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this round. He's definitely hurt. His legs are gone. And in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. There he's nailed again. Down he goes. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four and five. His eyes are clear. It's up to seven and eight. He's going to be able to continue. Tyson knows he has him in trouble. It's just a matter of time. Larry will not survive this round. He's trying to fight back with everything he has. He's trying desperately. But this is not the same age man that was able to do it against Ronaldo Spikes. He goes with a big right hand. The left hook. Now he stays on his feet. Showing tremendous heart. Nail with the left hook. Holmes is getting set up for the right hand. Here it comes, the left one come inside. There's the left, there's the right. Now he's ready to go again. He's hit with the left hand. 17 seconds. He may be able to get by the round now. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's going to hang on. And he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. Now oh, he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the count. It was a vicious, vicious right hand. It came like a bolt. We look for it, and Larry got hurt. A big right hand ends the career of the former champion of the world. Do you think Larry Holmes would have beaten Mike Tyson in his prime? Share your opinion by writing in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel.